So we've also included with your materials a list of the frequently asked questions that we get around the health insurance marketplace, the Affordable Care Act, especially in recent years with all the misinformation and confusion um, around the ACA in the media and just out in the world. It can be very complicated and people have a lot of questions. So we've included a list for you all to refer to if you need it. Um, a few examples are here. So has the Affordable Care Act been repealed? We get that question a lot. Um, the answer to that is no. The ACA is still the law. Affordable health insurance options are still available and you can explore those options on healthcare.gov. Um, and then we often get questions about being renewed, whether or not they actually need to take action. The answer to that is always yes, because there are always changes that occur. And also if they've had any changes within their household over the year, they'll want to update that information on the application for their 2021 coverage. Is there still a penalty for not having health insurance? The answer to that is no. Um, but we still want to encourage consumers to enroll because having health insurance is incredibly important. It gives them the peace of mind um, to sort of go on their, you know, their day-to-day -day work. And then especially with the pandemic right now, I think health insurance is more important than ever. Um, and so that kind of goes into the next question, you know, why would I need to buy it? Um, but I think, I think right now it's, it's kind of, one of the more important things to have um, if you don't have anything and especially affordable health care. So definitely going into the marketplace, meeting with a navigator, going over what their options are. Um, you know, there's no, again, there's no obligation for them to enroll when they meet with a navigator. So if they just want to explore their options um, and know what's out there, we can provide that assistance. So it never hurts to meet with a navigator, the appointment's free, and we're just here to make sure that they understand all of their options. Um, and then another one that we get, am I going to be affected by the new public charge regulation? We see this a lot in, with the immigrant community that we work with. Um, and so, it, you know, it depends on someone's situation, whether or not that would affect them. We have that answered in our ACA FAQs. So it's just important to maybe review through those FAQs before you start the callback so you can kind of get familiar with those. Um, it, and again, if it's a more specific question that maybe isn't listed here or you don't know the answer to, you're always welcome to say, you know, I don't know the answer to that. You're welcome to ask your navigator or I can have somebody call you back. And you can just make a note of that in the notes column. And when you send that back to Devin on a Friday, we'll be sure to make note of that and have one, our, one of our staff navigators follow up with that individual about their specific question. Um, so, so just make sure that you have this close by. It's just a helpful resource that we've provided. No need to memorize any of the answers, but again, it's just, it's supposed to be there to, to help with the process.